Okay guys, this video is going to cover how to find the component form of a vector in 3D space. So I have just graphed two points, A and B, uh, and here they are on GeoGebra. They have been graphed in 3D space. They have an X, Y, and Z component. So if you look at point A, negative 4 is the X component. So let's look down at the X, Y plane. Negative 4 in the X direction, negative 2 in the Y direction, and if you look at the z-axis, we are at positive 1 in the z-direction, b is at negative 6 in the z-direction, and then if you look straight down, it has an x component of 3 and a y component of 6. So these are the components of the uh, points a and b. Now suppose we have a vector that starts at a and ends at b. Okay, Every vector has two points, a beginning and end point. So the way we do that in GeoGebra is just by typing in vector and then I can put in the beginning point and the end point. And it'll graph for me the vector that connects A to B. Okay? And it also automatically gave me the component form of my vector. Okay, And I bet you guys can guess how to calculate this component form. These components uh, are how far the vector has traveled in every direction, right? So if we look at it vertically, how far has the vector traveled in the x direction? It's gone from negative 4 to 3, right? It's gone from negative 4 to 3. Well, what's the distance from negative 4 to 3? Positive 7, right? Or you could just take 3, subtract negative 4. That gives you 7. You take 6, subtract negative 2. That'll give you 8, the distance in the y direction, right? From negative 2 to 6 is 8. And then, of course, in the vertical z direction, we see the distance from a to b goes from positive 1 to negative 6. Negative 6 minus 1, that's negative 7 because it's moving down in that direction. Okay, so it's a lot like in two dimensions. You just have to include that third component. You're just subtracting the endpoint component from the initial point component, and that gives you vector notation. Now, of course, you're going to write this as a uh, vector with pointed brackets rather than curved brackets. Uh, or if you want, I guess you could write it if you, as a column vector because that's how it's written in more advanced math anyway. Okay, in the next video we will do an example of how to not just write a vector in component form, but then how to find its magnitude and then find a unit vector in the direction of a given vector. Just like with 2D, we're going to move and do it all in 3D. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye.